Hello, David here at merchantaccounts.ca. I'm about to tackle probably the most complicated topic I've ever tried to speak about, and I'm gonna try and do it in a really short few minutes. This is a challenge, let's see how I do. Stay tuned, I'm gonna dig in in one second. PCI compliance, PCIDSS, stands for the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard. It is a technical standard that if you're a human being and you live on planet Earth and you accept credit cards, you have to comply with. That's the short version of it. But what is it really? It's two things. The first half of PCI compliance is a security scan. That's where an approved scanning vendor in ASV, this is a company effectively that Visa and MasterCard have approved to do security vulnerability scans of your website. Effectively, what they're trying to do is hack it. Hack it in a really friendly way. They're trying to find vulnerabilities and then they give you a report. Hey, we just found out like your PHP is outdated or this problem's occurring. You better fix it. And you get this list of problems so that you can fix them. And then you rerun the security scan. You keep doing this until they can't find a problem. That is how to pass the security scan portion of, a PCI, of PCI compliance. The second component of PCI compliance is the self-assessment questionnaire. It's sometimes, ref the, the acronym for that is the SAQ. This is a questionnaire that merchants have to complete in order to be compliant with the PCI standard. If you're a small or mid-sized business, it's a self-assessment questionnaire. You do have to do it. You don't have to report it to anyone, but you do have to have it on, on your own file. Now these questions go from very easy to extraordinarily difficult. Uh, an easy one would be, for example, do you change your, your system default passwords? So the password for your router should not be the word admin. Now on the other end, it's like questions like, and I'm not gonna get this exactly right, does your system currently employ industry standard port hardening techniques on all open web facing ports on the server. Don't bother quoting me. I'm sure I got that a little bit wrong. Point is, did that sound complicated? Sure did to me, probably did to you. So Visa and MasterCard, the PCI Security Council, I guess I should say, have identified that and years ago they created a simplified version of the questionnaire. The simplified version of the questionnaire is for merchants that don't touch cards themselves. Because if you have an e-commerce website and pick out, picture your website and pe people are checking out and then during the checkout flow, it's like they've added to cart, they've gone to the shipping page, they typed in their name, they have not typed in the credit card number. They've not done it yet. And then they hit continue and the user's taken from your website to your payment processor's website. If you looked at the address bar, it wouldn't even say your, your domain name anymore. It would show your payment processor's domain name. The payment processor collects the credit card for you. It's not in your infrastructure. It's never touched it. There's not a trace, there's not a dash, there's not a, a moat or a molecule. Well, that means you don't have cardholder data. So when you're filling out SAQA, which is the shortened version of the questionnaire, there's an answer that you can give that basically says, hey, I don't touch card data. I rely on service providers to do that. And those service providers are PCI compliant. Now, even the shortened version of the questionnaire can be difficult but it's a lot easier than the full version of the questionnaire, which is extremely, extremely, extremely challenging. So our advice to clients is to never touch card data. If you're a large or more sophisticated merchant, knock yourself out, go to town. If, you st if you're following the, the practice and you're PCI compliant and you can properly complete the questionnaire and ensure your systems are safe and secure, great. But for small and mid-sized businesses, why bother? You can make the integration work in such a way that it looks to the user like they're on your website. They can't visually tell. If you do it properly, there's no obvious visual cues that they're not on your website, but you make it. So technically they're not on your website. You don't have the card data. If you can avoid it, avoid it. I would pretty much etch that advice in granite and it's really good advice. Now, PCI is confusing. There's no way for me to go, get on a video here, especially a short video, and tell you how to do it. But I will say this. If you find PCI compliance confusing, reach out to us at merchantaccounts.ca. We can try to help you set up your shopping cart software and integrate it in such a way so that you don't touch card data. It's the best you can do. It's the best you can do to make it easier manageable. Now, in summary, there's two components to it. 
There's a security scan and there's a self-assessment questionnaire. And by the way, although I didn't explicitly say this, if you don't touch card data and you do the A, the SAQA, the simplified version of the questionnaire, you don't need to do the security scan because there's no card data in your system. It's your service provider that touches the card. They did their own PCI compliance. They did their own security scan. So when you're a SAQA merchant, you don't have to do the security scan. You can skip that too. I hope when I go back and rewatch this video that I didn't just cause more confusion. I hope that a little bit demystified an extremely complicated topic. If you want me to dig in this anymore, please leave a comment below and I hope I helped a little bit. Thanks for watching and have a nice day there.